Greg, how are things? Great, great. We're uh, just getting ready for our upcoming series. And you finally know who you're going to play. How long did that series feel like it took? Uh, it felt like a while. I know it was only, you know, I think it was. it's going to be 14 days uh, since our last game. Um, and it's kind of strange, you know, both teams were in the semifinals, so it's not even like we had a bye. We, were just, we just ended up having to wait uh, a while for those crosstown rivals to, uh, to do their, their thing. And now you go into a series that doesn't decide whether or not you get into the OHL Cup. When you look at, I guess, the pride in winning the alliance, how big is that for your team? Well, this group especially, I mean, there's some kids on this team that have been with the team since Minor Adam, and they've won the Alliance Championship every year uh, since Minor Adam. So I think for them, it's you know, it's you know, the last time they're going to be together as this group, and I think they understand that they want to win that Alliance Championship, which which may have been different than some teams we've had, you know, in the past. When you take us all the way back to Minor Adam, could you spot the guys who are still doing big things for this team even back then? Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, there's the, the core group of kids. I mean, obviously, you know, I think a lot of people have heard of Ryan Suzuki. He's been around since then. We have a couple uh, Masons, Mason Millman, Mason Howard, uh, who are both on our defense core, and they've been around since then. And, I mean, we we added a few more pieces this year too, but those those kids, you know, they chip in and and they've done a great job, you know, all the way through. We are talking right now about the London Junior Knights minor midget team, which is ranked number one and has been for a while with one of their coaches, Greg Benedetti. Greg, being ranked number one, it it gets you on the map, maybe gets you noticed, but what does it mean for the team? Is that something you guys took a minute to pay attention to, or is that just one of those things that, that you don't pay attention to? Well, I don't want to get too caught up in, in rankings with the kids. I mean, obviously, it's nice to hear and nice to say, but it, it definitely puts a bigger target on your back going into to tournaments and stuff like that. And, and we've been ranked number one since our, our tournament win uh, over Christmas break. Uh, but these kids have been a top team, so they understand the pressure that comes along with it. But uh, I think they they like hearing it. But we don't put a lot of stock into the into the rankings. This final series is going to be your last warm up before the OHL Cup. Before you have to go up against all of those Toronto teams that you would see in tournaments, and go up against the the best of the best in Ontario. What do you need your team to be doing in this final series in order to be ready for that? Well, I think in you know in tournaments such as the OHL Cup, you know special teams are always key. You know you got to score on the power play. You got to make sure you're killing penalties. So I mean that's stuff we got to build off in this series. So we got to be real good on our on our special teams for the series versus Waterloo, and then hopefully we can carry it on into the OHL Cup. A layoff of 14 days. When was the last time outside of the off season that these guys would have gone 14 days without playing a game? Definitely not this season. That's for sure. I mean, uh, you know, we usually play two games a week, so it's been a while. But you can tell at practice they're they're itching to go, and you know we've been we've been skating them pretty hard. You know, probably harder than they, they would like at this time of the year. But uh, we know we got to have our legs for for OHL Cup, so we've been working them pretty hard, and you can tell that they're they're ready to uh, play Friday night. You've done a lot of coaching. How how does this team? you know, define itself as being special? Because every really, really good team just has something special about it. What do you feel when you're around these guys? Uh, just they they understand kind of when, when to turn it on. And, you know, in the big, you know, the big games, they, 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 I don't think they feel the pressure, you know, and, and just being around like a winning culture since they were so, so young, I think they understand like what it takes in the big games and, and they just, they get it. And with that, they have players who, who really have put themselves on the radar for things like the OHL selection coming up. Is that something that's ever chatted about in the dressing room by the players? Do they pay attention to that? Uh, I don't think so. I think, you know, individually, I think they know who they are and, and, and who's a good player. But, you know, we've been emphasizing all year, you know, it's about the team and not about specific roles and, and 
you know, specific players. So I, I obviously they read stuff in the media probably and see the the draft rankings every once in a while. And but I I, I think deep down, I mean, these guys are a tight knit group and they understand that there's kids that are you know a little bit more talented than other. But everybody has their role and everybody chips in, and that's the only way you can win a tournament like the OHL Cup. One of the coaches of the London Junior Knights, Minor Midgets, number one ranked team in the province as they get set for the Alliance Finals right before the OHL Cup for all the marbles in Minor Midget. One last thing, and that just comes down to Waterloo. This is a good organization. This is an organization that beat a very good Kitchener organization. Give us their strengths and what you have to be ready for. Uh, I mean, they're a pretty good defensive team. They don't give up a lot of goals. Uh you know, they play a real tight defensive system, block a lot of shots. So we got to make sure we're getting pucks, you know, to the net and crashing and banging in rebounds. We're going to have to score ugly goals. Um, I mean, personally, uh, I've been in the Alliance final now at minor midget for the last two years. And both years we have lost Waterloo. So with the same coach coaching Waterloo. So, um, you know, it's I like to finally beat them this year and, I think the the rest of the coaching staff is kind of at that you know vision too, and the kids understand that. And I I think we're gonna you know I think we're gonna do well, and I think we're gonna come out and play hard and get it done. Well, to be where you are right now is fantastic. Congratulations on what you've done this year, and I guess like you say, what you've done the last few years, going all the way back to Adam with this group of kids. Friday night. 8 o'clock, Nichols Arena, game number one against the Waterloo Wolves. Greg, go get this. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate it.